Hey guys, how we doing? We pop you up here. So uh, looking at some from videos in the morning, morning coffee, and I saw one uh, from 65 Ford, and I guess it's going around a YouTube garage of um, your favorite tool, and I guess it, it's set up like a pyramid where uh, you tell your story, and then you pick two guys to go and uh, tell their their stories, and it kind of goes like a pyramid gets larger and larger. Actually, the pyramid gets smaller and smaller, doesn't it? All right, it's an upside down pyramid. Anyway, um, so he uh, did one and he had his um, Jaws of Life <laughs> set up. Um, and I thought it would be easy to come up with uh, my favorite tool. I did one a long time ago. I think favorite tools. I have a video out there. And one of the things that I had on there was a, uh, uh, a hair dryer that uh, I used as a little kid. And it got mailed back to me from my parents. But uh, I'm going to do it more kind of like not sentimental value more I started thinking about what I use all the time and what's my favorite thing for um, um, yeah I'll leave it at that you kinda of use it all the time I, I came up with three so I, I, I'm gonna go one uh, three two one as far as what my stuff is and we're gonna start it with um, I'm actually gonna start with the uh, I'm going to say that my, my main toolbox itself, which is this system here. Um, it really isn't even a toolbox. I turned it into a toolbox. I got to shut the door. It is, I think we're up to six degrees. <laughs> Wind chill factor is negative three. Anyway, um, this, I worked at the Gillette Company in South Boston, and they switched over from... Um, having these cabinets that you stored the parts in to an automated system with a computer and a uh, what the hell was the name of those things um, it's basically like a uh, an elevator with a computer hooked up that each drawer comes down and it'll, like so you punch in a part and what machine you're going to a drawer will come down an elevator slide out you pick that part out and send the drawer back on its way so they switched over to that and these were all the old cabinets that they had and I'm gonna say that that thing's gotta be 30 inches deep, four and a half feet wide, and I don't know, it's got 11, 12 drawers to it. This is gonna be my number three, and it's built like a tank. The, um, what's also nice about it is the, uh, on the inside, they have all these dividers. You can uh, divide the drawers up however you want if they're all the way around. So it gives you limitless ways to, to slice up the drawers and with different dividers and, and cutoffs. And you can actually even see some like some of the old part numbers that were in it. And the weight that you can put in this thing is ridiculous. So I would probably say tool-wise, I guess and call it a tool, um, would be this drawer. And here's all, all the parts. Let's see what we got. Mac valves, six watt, another Mac valve, Mac valve parts. So, uh, those are pneumatic valves that the machines ran on. Anyway, so you can divide the drawers up any way you want, and they just hold. You, could, you can't physically overload these drawers. It, you, you can't beat the uh, how heavy the rollers are on them. Uh, they're pretty tough, and they're like butter. And you can only open one at a time, so you don't have to worry about killing yourself. It'll never flip itself over. So I thought of that, and the other kind of things that I use all the time... Um, on the bigger scale was my lift so I was kind of going back and forth between the my little half lift for the cars and uh, my pneumatic lift and um, I kind of went with uh, I would say the pneumatic lift would be number two and then going to number one I actually is kind of funny because I don't even own my number one anymore um, I lost it and I'm actually in the process of ordering a new one funny how that kind of comes around but what I use all the time it doesn't do anything well it doesn't do anything great but it does a little bit of everything and uh, a lot of guys have them all right here we go you gotta have the multi-tool that thing is with me every day if I, I if the one thing I had to carry with me over anything my phone or whatever it's gonna be my multi-tool this one is a Gerber. Um, so it's got some patina to it. I probably, I probably get about two or three years out of each one. 
um, before they get just so plain wore out or junk or I lose them then I end up getting another one but the one that I had I, I actually would carry two at a time because of course if you got a nut and a ball you need to hold one end while you unloose on the other end was it was a multi-tool but it had a pair of vice grips locking pliers built into the front of it and those are great they're like needle nose vice grips and um didn't have quite as many uh, utensils in the back, but that thing in the front is, you know, priceless for doing whatever you want. So, having said that, um, <laughs> I'm going to go with this one, but shortly it's going to be replaced by, um, they got a new one out, um, made by, ah, it starts with the L, what's the name of the other one there? Leatherman has a new one out that uh, has the vice grips. The other one that I had, the, vice, the nose of it always stayed out, made it a little on the long side, but now they make it where the vice grip tucks on the inside of itself. So uh, off to go replace that. Um, and I'm also supposed to go on and uh, pick two other people to uh, make responses and uh, see what their favorite stuff is. Uh, I, I kind of like want to see what everybody has for that option but yeah if I'm only picking two I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with 63 Impala two-door uh, Ken he's on the uh, he's on the west coast over there and if you guys ever seen his channel he's uh, does a little bit of everything he's motorhead uh, inventor uh, artist um, I like to see what he comes up with and uh, you guys may know uh, Jeff at uh, James Freddy's channel. Uh, he's a, a high-end body shop, um, restoration, very good how-to videos and just explanation of, of things done at a very high level on the uh, automotive restoration field where I'm more of a redneck hack. Uh, I like to see what he um, has for his favorite setup also. So you two guys have been tagged, officially, officially tagged. And uh, if you would make a video if you want, you can uh, link them to this one. I'm going to link this one to 65 Fords, who started this. I think somebody else. I'm, I don't know where it started, but I know it's going around a YouTube garage. And uh, let's go see where that goes. So uh, good luck to you two guys. And uh, just a tab on the end of this video. And we got that cabinet kind of cut up. sucked in there pretty good and then I went and I got the z-bed I stuffed the z-bed in there and as you can see we got the cabinet put in there it fits sort of good <laughs> and then the bed is over there that tucks out so yes I did a little bit of work to the bus and I just stuffed that in there to see what I can get it get out of the the sink icebox combo but uh, more to come on that all right, guys, I'll be done yapping. Too damn cold out here. It's not even worth heating the garage. It's so damn cold. I'll wait for another day to uh, work out here. I'm going back in, uh, I don't know, do something on the house, I guess. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.